Hi, I'm Neil, and today I'm going to teach you how to use AI and a service called BannerBearer to automatically generate unlimited designs from a template and then post them to Instagram automatically without you having to actually do anything. So we're going to build this automation, which will take these simple inputs, which just describes your Instagram account, and this simple template, which took me three minutes to make, and produced, produces posts like this. Now, these designs that I've done in this, in this automation are not going to be very good because I'm not a designer and I spend very little time on the prompts themselves. This is just a very simple example to show you the kind of things that's technically possible. So if you put a little bit of effort in working on the prompts and building a nice looking template, you'll be able to create some pretty incredible stuff. So you can set this automation up to run every week, every day, or even every hour or two, if you want. Just set it up however suits your needs. Uh, and as always, I'm gonna build this again from scratch. So you can just follow along and copy everything that I'm doing. Um, also, if you sign up for my new newsletter, there should be a link below. Uh, I'm gonna make all the templates and blueprints available there. So you can just more easily build this out. But I do recommend you also follow along and build it yourself because you just learn more cool stuff that way. All right, let's get building. So I'll run you through the Airtable first of all. It's quite simple. Um, there's two tables. There's a projects one, which just is where you put the setup. So you get basically in here, we're gonna put what the project is. So this is the cat quote, it's a cat quotes project. Um, doesn't really, this doesn't, you can put anything there. And the description, which is does get referenced, is just, it's an Instagram account celebrating the joys of owning a pet cat or several pet cats. I have two pet cats, so this is my, this is my simple example. Um, and then just a simple thing here that says it's active, so you can, in theory, you can build out more of these and you can run this concurrently for lots of different projects. So you could have, let's say you have 10 different clients that you're doing this for, you could build them all in here and turn them on and off according to your uh, your needs. And then in the posts table, we've got uh, an auto number field, an ID, just so we have each post has a unique ID. Uh, and this is the this is an example of what was generated from my example um, post before. So the, the quote is, we've got a, uh, a column for quote, a, co a column for the image quote, uh, image prompt, a column for the image URL, then we've got an attachment field with the image. This is the actual image itself without the caption. And then we've got the finished image, which it just gets uploaded here as well. Just so you've got a bit of a, a, a database for all this kind of stuff. And then this one here, this is a linked, uh, a linked field. So you just link this up to projects um, so that you can see in here, you'll have all the posts that are associated with this project just to keep things a bit tidier. Um, <clears throat> very quick intro to Banner Bear. It's a great, a great tool that just allows you to build a simple template and then you can use an API or luckily they have a nice handy make module that we're gonna use. Uh, and it's very simple to create a template and then create loads of, uh, loads of designs automatically. Um, this, is the, this is the system. So you just create a template. It's really, really, straightforward. I've just got two layers here. This one is this one is the quote layer and this one is the image layer. And that these are the names up here. These are the names uh, that we will reference in the API when we make the calls. Okay, so let's uh, start with the R table and we're going to search records. And the base is banner bear demo. Table is projects because we're just getting the project info here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the formula is just we're going to make sure we're just going to use this that only we'll only get them if they are active. So it, so that's why the tick box is there, and we'll keep it to one for now, and then we'll just run this module only. That's all working fine. Um, okay, next step is we're going to use the we're going to use some AI. And we're going to create a completion. So I assume you've got 
uh, an open AI key. If not, it's very simple to sign up, put in like $5 uh, to get some API credits. Um, and I would just use, um, just use whichever one you want. I'm just gonna use a one preview. Um, then we're gonna add a user message, message content. I'm just gonna copy and paste this from what I did earlier. Um, so come up with a quote suitable for an Instagram post for an account with this description. And then we're referencing the description that we put into the Airtable here. Um, so just some instructions for the the AI here. So just don't use any hashtags, emojis, speech marks, and just want the quote. And that's it. Um, oh, that match tokens doesn't really matter. <clears throat> That's that. And then we're going to do the same thing again. In fact, I'll just clone this. And this time we're going to use a different quote. We're going to ask, <clears throat> we're going to ask it to <clears throat> uh, build us a prompt that we can give to Dolly. Um, based on the, the, the quote and the description. So here's the description again. And then we want the, the quote uh, that has come from this previous one. So we can just go result there actually. Okay, and then I'm just gonna run this just to get the, the outputs. Seems to be quite slow. Right, finally finished. Um, first of all, let's go and change these, um, change these models. In fact, what am I doing? What I meant to use, I meant to use four O. Sorry, not O one. O one is the brand new one, which is uh, too slow. So let's change that. Let's go to just uh, four O. Um, in fact, we'll use four O mini. That's going to be good enough. Okay, <clears throat> and now we're gonna use um, generate an image, which uses dolly, three obviously. And then the prompt we're gonna take from, uh, from here. Hang on a sec, why is this not? Okay, there's some issue here, hang on. Okay, I think those issues just come from using the completely wrong model, which was stupid on my part. So I'm gonna run this whole thing again, change it all to, to four or many. Hopefully this should run much, much faster. There we go, we've got a prompt now. And we have got, hopefully, an image. Here's the URL. There we go, lovely. Again, if I was doing this uh, for proper production purposes, I would use something like Mid Journey or Flux to generate uh, better quality images. But just for, for ease, I thought I would just use Dolly. So it's right there. Okay, so now we've got all these um, results back. So what we want to do is create a record in the posts table. So the banner bear demo base, and then this time we're gonna to go to the posts table. And we're gonna input the results from all these. So here's the quote, put that in there. Here's the image prompt, put that in there. And the image URL will be there. Uh, there we go. And then we can also put the raw image in here. So you just need to put the put the URL in there and then you can leave this blank, the file name blank, and it will create, um, just give it a, a default file name. It doesn't really matter what the file name is. Um, and that is that done. And now we get to use a banner bear. And we want to create an image. 
So it's very simple. Um, so with, with Banner Bear, you can sign up, the, the, you get a, a free trial and you get 30 API, API credits for free. After that, it's like four or nine bucks a month if you want to do it at scale. Um, but it's very easy to sign up and get an API key and connect to here. But I'm not going to go through that. Then you build out a template, as I showed you before. Uh, so we can use this one. And then you have to add in some modifications. So the modifications are simply the names of what we had uh, in our in our design. So we've got quote for the quote and image for the image. So here we'll just do the quote. So the name is quote. And then the text we're going to put in as the, well, we, can, we can do it straight from the other table because we've, we've updated that now. So we'll put it in there. Uh, and that's that for that one. And then the second item we want to do is image. And then we go down to image URL. And we'll just take that from the other table as well. And that's all you have to do. The rest is just, you can leave that as it is. So with Banner Bear, what happens is um, this sends off the request and then it processes it in the background and it can take a few seconds, usually about like, it's usually just one or two seconds, but for safety, we add in a um, sleep. So we'll, I'll do it for like, you know, seven seconds, that should be enough. Um, and then we do another banner bear module and we get an image. Um, and here we want to get the image uh, UID. So we can take that from banner bear there. <clears throat> so this just gets the image that was created in the previous step. Um, and then once that's done, um, I will probably run it at this point just to make sure everything's working. I don't like to, I try to just build a few modules at a time, one, two or three modules at a time, then run everything to make sure it works. You don't want to get to the end of the scenario and realize that eight modules ago you've messed up. So it's going to run the whole thing again, generate a new image, update our table, send off that request to Banner Bear, wait an excruciating seven seconds. Then it's going to get the image and hopefully all is good. So we can see the image URL PNG. There we go. So that's our uh, new image and some frankly terrible quote. Um, and then we'll just update our table one more time. So we're going to update a record this time. And it's obviously again banner bear. <coughs> And it's the posts one again. And here you always have to include the record ID, which is the one from when you create a record here, it gives you the the, the record ID. That's the, the 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 raw Airtable internal ID of the record. So that will make sure it updates the correct one. Uh, and we're just going to update it with the finished post image here. Uh, so we'll take the image URL PNG and I was going to leave that blank again and that's that and then the last thing we have to do is post to Instagram so it's Instagram for business and um, so you have to you have to have to have a business Instagram account to do this and um, so we'll create a photo post um, and you need to add your connection to Facebook here uh, and make sure that your Instagram account has has been added to your kind of Facebook business manager. I've done that here, so it's pick the page pet cat. Photo URL is simply um, again we can take it all from here. So we'll take the image URL from there, and the caption we'll just take the quote. Again, you could also do a separate thing where you add some hashtags in here or do a separate thing. But again, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to leave it as that. And then hopefully, let's save that. Hopefully this should all work. So if I run this one more time, all looks good. Now let's refresh this. Now then, what I've done here is I've put in the wrong URL. <laughs> I've put in, I think, image URL. What I wanted to put in was 
finished post image. That's what I wanted. So in fact, I can actually just get, I'll just take this straight from the, the banner bearer to make it simpler. So let's do that. Okay, now upload into Instagram. So let's go there as soon as this is finished. There is the previous post that didn't have the caption on it. And if I refresh this now, here we go. The power of a cat is the heartbeat of a home. Poetic. So there we go. That's fairly straightforward automation to create uh, new designs and post them automatically to Instagram. You could obviously develop this further by adding in more social media accounts, uh, creating different designs, different sizes for different ones. Um, obviously you play around with the quotes a bit more to get the, uh, the prompts to get higher quality outputs uh, and you use a different a different image service like Midjourney or Flux um, to produce better quality images. You can also do it with videos. There's a lot of a lot of potential here. I, I will. I'm definitely going to revisit this using Canva and producing video templates, and I'll probably try and flesh it out into a much more comprehensive social media content creation system where it creates uh, relevant content for each of the different uh, platforms and posts it automatically. Um, so yeah, um, as I said, if you want to get this this blueprint and the templates to build this easily, then sign up for my newsletter below. Um, if you don't see the templates in there, it's because I'm still, I've only just set up my newsletter and I'm trying to figure out the, uh, how to best provide them. So if you don't see them straight away, they should hopefully be up in a few days. Um, yeah, everything should be in there. And please let me know any comments, feedback, or any future ideas for new automations you want to see. Thanks.